Good morning. Welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're at chapter 4, verse 1, which arguably kind of really fits with chapter 3, but let's take this verse alone. Here's the reading. Therefore, my beloved and longed-for brethren, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. It's kind of a summary here before Paul goes into some of the last chapter here in this book, but kind of a summary about his plan what he's trying to tell the Philippians to do. He says, you're my beloved, you're my long for brethren, you're my joy, you're my crown. I'm really thinking about you all. I have you on my heart. I want what's best for you. What does he say? What's the main point here? So, the way I've just described in the preceding verses, so he says, stand fast in the Lord. Stand fast in the Lord. I wonder if we know how to stand fast in the Lord. I wonder if we know how to be, dare we say, stubborn for Jesus. There's a lot of human stubbornness. We probably don't need too much help with that, you know, with, with increasing that. We need to decrease that human stubbornness. But what we need to do is be able to stand fast in the Lord. We need to know what God's will is, and we'll know that by studying his book. We need to know what God's will is, and we'll know that by studying his book. And sometimes we may have emergencies that are more than momentary, but God will be with us if we'll just trust him. So, therefore, stand fast in the Lord. Are you really ready? Am I really ready? Like we could be, to stand fast in the Lord. Truth is, we can grow in our resoluteness to be Christians. So let's grow in that, and let's get there by following out chapter 3. We've just studied all of chapter 3 in Philippians. When we look at some of that counsel there, that will help us to know how we can stand fast in the Lord. It's all because Jesus is at the center of it all. There's our strength. Our strength is the fact that Jesus is the divine Son of God. He is God come in human flesh. He is divine. He has strength you and I don't have. He has strength that the strongest man or woman on planet earth doesn't have and will never have, he has the spiritual power. So we look to him and he will be our helper and our leader and our strengthener. And we can pray about that. Let's do it. Dear Father in heaven, we want to know how to stand fast in the Lord Jesus. We're living in an age with lots of wibbly wobbliness, lots of uh, flip-flopping, many explanations about why we don't have to do this and why we don't have to do that. And Many explanations about how we can kind of squeeze our way out of actually doing God's will. Lord, help us not to fall into that nonsense. Lord, help us to walk side by side with Jesus. And that's our simple prayer today, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So the Lord will help you and help me to do this, to stand fast in this crazy age. Hey, remember, Jesus is coming very soon. Let's just keep getting ready because it won't be long now. God be with you today.